Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and today we're going to continue to talk about buzzing little bees and the people that care for bees. In one of my family's favorite stories called The Bee Man by Lori Krebs and Valeria Sis. There wouldn't be sunflowers, wouldn't be peas, wouldn't be apples on apple trees if it weren't for fuzzy old, buzzy old bees dusting pollen from off their knees. And that poem called Bees is written by Eileen Fisher. Here is my grandpa who's known in our town as the Bee Man. Here is his jacket with a zippered up hood that covers his face just the way that it should when he visits his hives as the bee man. Here are his gloves made of cotton and leather, protecting his hands in all kinds of weather when he tends to his hives as the bee man. Here is the beehive where all the bees sleep, tucked into a box called a shallow or deep, and then placed on a stand by the bee man. Here is the smoker that quiets the bees and a hive tool that opens the beehive with ease for a much closer look by the bee man. Here is the queen bee who does her job well and lays tiny eggs in a six-sided cell. She's the heart of the hive, says the bee man. Here are the drone bees with big bulging eyes and a large appetite supporting their size. They mate with the queen, adds the bee man. Here are the workers, 10,000 or more, who gather the nectar to bring back and store in honeycomb cells for the bee man. Here are the house bees with swift moving wings that dry up the nectar a worker bee brings, making honey for me and the bee man. Here's the extractor, it's clickety clack, removing the honey from frames on its rack and filling up jars for the bee man. Here's some of the honey returned to the hive. It's food for the bees to help them survive the long winter days near the bee man. Here are the bees protected from harm inside the hive, huddled cozy and warm. So they'll be here next year, says the bee man. Here is the wagon filled up to the brim with bottles of honey collected by him and brought to the house by the bee man. Here are the muffins, all warm and delicious and dripping with honey on grandma's best dishes. I'm glad that my grandpa's the bee man. And in the back, you'll find some more information about bees and bee colonies and beekeeping and all of the tools that Grandpa, the beekeeper, used in the story. Can't wait to see you for our next Read Aloud. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.